Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sample beat inside of FL Studio. I'll guide you step by step and you will get the project files for free. So the first thing is we need to get our drums. So this is why I said we're going to give you the project files for free. You probably don't have these drums, but if you want more drums, go to our Discord. It's discord.gg slash BusyWorksBeats. Look for Lunch 77 drum kits. Okay, so here we have a sample called No Scrubs. So what I'm gonna do before we even sample the sample, let's start with our drums because this will dictate the groove for the entire track. Almost like the tempo of the metronome, the drums are the tempo for the music. So let's hit control L to send our drums to the mixer and let's create a simple pattern. So let's just do this 808, which is my go-to 808. And I wanna do doom, doom, doom like that. Let's just get the right tempo. So we're gonna probably go down to 93 BPM. Let's try this BPM. Okay, so we're at 93 BPM. Let's add the snare on the two and the four. That snare might be a little too big, so let's use a shorter snare. Let it ride out and then repeat. Hitting the space bar to keep going back and forth. So we're in the channel rack right now, if you guys missed that step. If you want a super beginner video, I have linked below two videos. Hopefully I remember to link them below for like super beginner stuff. So we're gonna let the snare ride out. Okay, now we're gonna add our little laser sound in here. One, two, two, two. Okay, so now we have our drums. That's pretty much all we're gonna do for this. So far, we're probably gonna add more drum bounces in there. Now let's get our sample. We're gonna grab the no scrub sample in this case, drag it in. So firstly with MP3s, there's a silence in the beginning. We're gonna grab this slip tool, hit alt and left click and drag this to the left side like that. So it happens to probably be 93 BPM. We just got lucky on that one. That usually doesn't happen though. You can still see it's off a little bit. So I'll show you guys how to time stretch. So all I want is just the melody in the beginning. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I might have missed like a little micro gap. It's hard to see. So let's hit Alt, drag that a little to the left. So I'm gonna slice that, hit Shift Alt. You can see that transient right here is not perfectly lined up, but that's where we need to slice is this pointy part of the audio. So grab your slice tool, hit Shift Alt to do a vertical slice and Alt allows you to do micro movements three so you need to count music if this is a different sample we need to count music so it's one two three four two two three and chop so it's hard to tell because there's no kick right here so let's go back again one two three four two two three four one two three four two two three and we chop Okay, so it's harder to tell when there's no drums. Okay, so now we have the parts we need. We're gonna double click on the sample. Actually click in the top left of the sample, go to make unique as sample, do that for each one. So now FL Studio looks at these as completely different objects. We're gonna double click, go to mode, stretch mode, move your time knob to lock it to the nearest bar. Do that for both samples. Now also we gotta make sure this is quantized to the grid. So let's change our snap to grid to bar mode. Hit shift Q to quantize it to the grid. As you saw, that was not quantized to the grid. So time stretching it would be off. So hit shift Q, then double click, mode, stretch mode, and move your time knob to lock it to the nearest bar. And now we can hit, turn the metronome on to see if it lines up with our drum. Okay, so it lines up. So now we can, start mangling the audio. Um, there's a billion things you guys could do. So what I'm gonna do is go to the channel rack here, hit control L for all of my samples. If you ever wonder why you can't find your other stuff, click up here, go to all, you'll see all your sounds. And then highlight these, hit control L, send those to the mixer. So now we can add effects basically. So let's double click in here and let's pull this down 300 cents. Double click on this one, pull it down and pitch 300 cents in the top left and reading those values up there. OK, 
Okay, so we'll hit Control B. So over time, you want the sample to change up. I'll show you guys how to do little change ups. So we're just arranging right now, hitting control to highlight, hit shift to drag. So let's say you wanna trapify something. Let's highlight these and let's say you wanna combine these. We're gonna hit control G, it will resample these into one audio clip. That's gonna be important, so let's hit control G. And now we have it as one audio piece. And now what we need to do is even if it's at 93 BPM, I'm gonna re-render this. So I'm gonna highlight this. We're getting a little advanced here. Go to the track number, which is track four, right click and consolidate track from time selection. And if you have any effects, you can turn those on or off with this button here. We're just gonna hit start. So what this does is it embeds time information into the sample. So now I can do the next step. So double click. We're gonna right click and open in Fruity Slicer. This is a Wonder Girl technique. A slice by the beat, okay? And now we can go to our channel rack. This is a completely new instrument now. You can hit Control L, and now it's chopped up into pieces. So if I layer this by muting the audio with the mute tool, grab my new pattern here, which is pattern two, drag this in. So now we'll hear it chopped up. So now it has more of a groove to it. I'll exaggerate the chops here by pulling up the attack. And they can hear it stutter. So that's why we had to re-render it to this audio because, or to this tempo so that it has the proper chop amount. If you do that on a different tempo and you don't time stretch it, it will chop in weird spots and it won't line up. Let's say you want it to move faster, you can go back to your slice. Click here, go to half beat. I think that's a little too jumpy though. Let's go, just go to beat. You could also pull up your attack. And now basically adds like a little side chain. Now I'm gonna move the audio a little to the right as a whole. So let's go to the cog icon, go to the wrench tool, turn up time shift. This is gonna delay the audio to the right. I'll exaggerate so you guys can hear. So we're delaying the audio. So now I'm gonna make little changes in the drums. We're gonna click the top left of the drum pattern, make it unique. And now we're just gonna add in more samples here. I think the 808's like a little too early, so let's go to the 808, wrench tool, time shift it a little bit. So at this point, you're just gonna mix the sample. Everything's time stretched. The only thing I wouldn't do is up the BPM because the fruity slicer won't work the same. Let's just demonstrate what that would sound like. So if I change the tempo to like 113, it's not gonna sound the same in slices. That's why I said you have to slice it to the tempo. Let's start delaying some of these sounds so they don't sound so like offset. Then on the master track, you know, the mix bus, we could add like a fruity soft clipper. Let's do fruity wave shaper, it adds a little more edge to the sound. Go to your cog icon, 
just do this to make it harsher. Whoa. Pull back the mix level. It'd be dope if I had the actual like hook. Screw up. I don't want no script. Let me. For the sake of this video, I might pause it just to chop that part out. I chopped up the hook from the sample and I separated the samples to save time. You just click here, make unique a sample. But what I need to do is remove the drums. I'll just show you guys this technique. Click in the top left, go to extract stems from sample. We're going to click all of these, highlight these, and just hit extract. Only do this for like two to four, two to four bar samples if you do it for anything longer it will just take forever so i'm going to pause the video but just show you guys in real time how long it would take for this clip but i'll do it for each one of these clips and then what we'll do is we'll take out the drums and any bass so that it doesn't clash with our drums so now we have stretched out each one and then it also keeps the pitch value for each one okay so now we can see these here no, no, I don't want no. and then we could take out the drums or we could just hit the mute tool no. I don't and then we can get rid of their bass. No, I don't want no spell. And now we can combine that with our music by muting the original. No, I don't want no spell. Spell also, we can get rid of the instruments too. So we're going to do that for each one. I'm just going to fast forward the video. I've extracted the vocals from all four samples. So here's what it sounds like layered with the original sample. And then we'll arrange this so that it maps out. No, I don't want no spell. The spell is a kind of can't get enough from me. Hang another passenger side. So to make it groove with this beat better, I'm going to combine these hitting control G <clears throat> and then do the same technique we did with the fruity slicer. Just double. Actually, we need to um, uh, I think it should actually re-render the time. Just double click, right click, open in fruity slicer, slice by the beat. So now it has that like stop and go sound to it. Remember, it's a completely new instrument, so we need to grab that pattern, drag it into the playlist, and mute the original audio. Now we have it chopped up. So let's hit Control L, send it to the mixer. Let's separate this to its own pattern. Let's hit Control X, Control V. I didn't realize I was layered with the hi hats. And let's hear this in context. See if we can chop this up into smaller pieces. a little delay to it so let's add this over here we're probably going to change the pitch of this so let's go all the way back now let's start arranging the beat
just going to add a plug in. This is not a stock plug in at all, but I just want to fix some of the low mids of the sample because it's starting to build up. All right, so that's how you do it. NFL Studio sampling. 
a record and flipping it into your own beat. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more, go to busyworksbeats.com slash better beat maker. It's a free beat making course. See you guys over there. Peace.